Oi, John, is there anything in that bag? Nah, it's empty. I'm gonna have a look in this bag over here. Oh, I think I found a chip. Oi, Timothy, where are you going? Oh, hello there, Harold. This is my bag, bugger off. Oi, oi, Sylvia, piss off. Oi, oh, bloody hell, that car's running all over my dinner. Okay, oh, I'm going to have a look in here. Oh, let me have a look in here. I know he's had a look in there already, but I want to... Oh, come here, come here. Oh. I'm going to go and have a look in this bag. Oh, oh, I can't find it. Oh, I think I've gone right past it. Oh, my goodness me. Oi, Cyril, over there by the red car. What are you doing? I've checked that bag. There's nothing in it. Oh, look, I've got a chip bag. Everyone, big Paulie back for some brand new Monday Blu-ray shopping. Oh yes, baby. Yes, it's nice out. It's a blue sky. It's not expected to rain until nine o'clock tonight. But uh, yes, we're going to go out. Keep dry. We do have a few goodies out this week. We certainly do. Um, it's a bit of a mixed bag. <laughs> I'll get to the bag bit in a minute. Anyway, let's put you all into receiver position. And guess what? Yeah, there's no Papa Bowman. Papa Bowman, where have you gone? <laughs> He's staying at home, getting out, keeping out of it. Right, okie dokie. So, first of all, let's see if I can pronounce this right. We have Phenomena. Phenomena? Yeah, Phenomena from Arrow Films. Arrow Films. Uh, there's two versions of this available. There's like a, an ordinary original version and there's kind of like a weird art version yeah i don't know why anyway that is out today uh we have captain america the winter soldier 4k mondo steelbook i have done an unboxing for this already it is absolutely gorgeous so you can find my unboxing on the previous video uh we have children of the corn two versions of that Excuse me. Uh, we have a Children of the Corn trilogy box set, which I believe is just the Blu-ray box set. Plus, we also have Children of the Corn in 4K. <laughs> Pardon me. Yes, uh, I'll have a look, see if they've got the 4K. We have a new Shudder exclusive, Cavite, I think it's pronounced. Looks interesting. And also a film with Daniel Radcliffe called Escape from Pretoria. This has taken ages to come out on physical media. I remember watching this, was it on Sky Movies? I think it was either Sky Movies, Movies, Sky Movies or Amazon Prime with Papa Bowman. Probably about two years ago. Seriously, a long time ago. Yeah, uh, this is about a prison escape uh, where he makes a key out of a bit of wood. Yeah, it's a really good film, not bad film. We also have a documentary called Becoming Custer. Yes. <laughs> um, we have the Responder series on uh, series one. I didn't really like that. I, I kind of turned it off after the, the first 20 minutes. Uh, nothing against Martin Freeman. He's a brilliant actor, but I just couldn't get around his accent. <laughs> and the whole dirtiness of the episode. Uh, we also have Citizen Kane on 4K today. Never seen Citizen Kane. Uh, we have a film called Baghead. Yeah. Uh, that's on 101 Films. Um, from Network, we have All Coppers Are... I don't know what they are. <laughs> I'm sure you can make your own mind up what they are. <laughs> Um, we have a new Doctor Who, season 14, 
We have good old Tom Baker. Uh, this, I think, is probably the slimmed down version. And then we have a film called Come On, Come On. Yeah. So that is a little list for today. Uh, not a bad list. Nothing major. No big blockbusters like, you know, we get three in bloody one day. Back when Ghostbusters came out and everything. But um, there's some good stuff to be getting on with. We'll have a look in HMV. Uh, today we are going to HMV Canterbury, back to Canterbury. I was only over there a couple of days ago on the Friday for the opening of the new store. So you can check that video out. Um, as they've shrunk the physical media section down, I don't know how much of that we're going to get to see. I hope we're going to get to see some bits and pieces, but they might not be carrying big box sets. I don't know. We can only go and have a look, can't we? Okay, so yes, so we'll do there. We will do CEX, uh, check out a couple of charity shops in Canterbury. Then we will head down to Asda and have a look, see if they've got out of bed and put anything on the shelves, the lazy gits, and also the music magpie section. And then we will head down to Westwood Cross to Smith's Toys and have a look, see if they've got anything new in, any new pop vinyl figures. Uh, and maybe I'll swing by Costa on the way home. Anyway, let's get on the road. Let's get over to Canterbury and let's go to our first stop, which will be the brand new HMV. I haven't got as far to walk to get to HMV now. It's just kind of like at the car park and turn right. <laughs> anyway, let's get to Canterbury. Okay, so all parked up. Lots of spaces, so uh, that's good. So uh, let's go to the lift and uh, let's go to our first stop of the day, which will be HMV, which is at the top of the town now. So uh, yeah, let's go and have a look, see what they've got. Oh, they have a nice little advert in the lift as well, telling you where the new HMV is. How cool is that? It still does feel quite weird turning right out of the car park to go to HMV rather than going straight ahead. But anyway, we're here, so let's go in. Okay, so on the new film selection here, we have, come on, come on, that's right, it's got um, Joaquin Phoenix, £14.99. Uh, we also have the Daniel Radcliffe film, Escape from Pretoria as well, first time on Blu-ray over here, £11.99, so a little bit cheaper for that one. Uh, we do have a little end cap here with some Star Trek on, uh, advertising uh, Picard, season one here. Uh, look, really looking forward to season two starting on Friday. On the new TV section, here is season 14 of Doctor Who with the good old Tom Baker, my favourite Doctor of all time. £37.99, lots of special features on there. Down here, what have we got? Over here, yes, we have the Responder with Martin Freeman. I won't pick this up. Um, it really wasn't my sort of thing, so I wasn't really interested in it. Down here, though, on the horror section, we have Cavite, the Shudder original. Now, I did watch the trailer for this, and it's really good. It looks good, so I might pick that up. Over here on the Arrow section, Phenomena. Uh, this is the 4K, although it's in the Blu-ray section, £34.99. Uh, here is Citizen Kane. They do have the deluxe edition for about £35. This is the stripped-down version for £19.99 with a really nice slip cover so I might pick that up and uh, here is another copy of Phenomena uh, the 4k so yeah they've put it in the blu-ray section and they've also put it in the 4k section for some reason uh, here we have a really good series Dust Boot um, I'm looking forward to season three both me and Papa Bowman both watch this so you should really watch this if you like the film uh, down here on the TV section, we do have Star Trek Enterprise in one big box set. That's very nice. I do have them individually with slipcovers, so I don't need to pick that up. And here is Becoming Cousteau, yes. Uh, I think it's National Ge Geographic, so it's a nice underwater adventure. Okay, so out of HMV, I picked... Oh, they smacked me in the face and smacked myself in the face with a bag then. Oh, um, I picked up three things. Um, even though they've got reduced physical media than they used to, uh, they still had pretty much everything on that list, bar maybe two items, so that's really good. So uh, yes, I'll show you these at the end of the video, but 
let's go to our next stop which will be the mighty CEX. Okay so let's go into CEX and see what they've got then we'll also pop into the British Art Foundation afterwards. Okay so first thing I'm seeing is 1917 with a slip cover for £5 so that's pretty good. I think the 4K was £5 in Asda recently. And here is a, a very nice James Bond box set for £38. And Anna on 4K for £12. Really good underrated action film. Down here we have Anvil. The story of Anvil. Yes, heavy metal band. For a quid. Nice bit of heavy metal for a quid. Uh, down here, look, we have Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure Series. £25 each. Yeah, they're not going to shift them. <laughs> Uh, we also have Cobra Kai Season 3 for £10 each, so that's pretty good. And Cujo as well, £20. I don't know if that's a little bit steep, maybe. Down here, we have Death Becomes Her for £8. Already in a black case, so you don't have to swap the cases out. <laughs> and here's a little selection of Doctor Who's that someone's traded in. And here's uh, a few 4Ks as well. Uh, down here we have the Green Mile for £3.50. Looking forward to getting the 4K for that. Uh, and we have Predator on 4K for £20. Still a, a bit steep, that one. Uh, we also have Predator 2 as well. So you can pick up some more Predator. Yes, uh, there is the Predator and Predators as well. Uh, we have Poltergeist. And we also have the Poltergeist remake, which I recently watched. And Poltergeist 3 for £5. And they also do have Poltergeist 2 as well. Uh, I do have the box set with all three in, so don't need that. And down here we have the Raid 2 for £2. Very good film. And also the first Raid as well for, uh, for £2.50. So that's uh, pretty good. And uh, down here we have Logan on 4K for £8. Very nice cover on that. And up here we have Lake, Lake Mungo. £25. That's a little bit steep. I'm, I'm sure it is. Okay, so next shop, British Art Foundation. Let's go and have a look, see if they've got anything new in. Well, they've got a couple of bits and pieces in the window. They've got the Matrix on 4K, £15. And back there, they've got in the line of fire, 4K for £15. That's a flipping bit steep, isn't it? I know they're 4Ks, but 15 quid. Okay, so some generic stuff in here. We have Leon. Some born Ultimatum uh, box set there. We have Cabin in the Woods, uh, which is, well, that's quite expensive. Uh, Fast and Furious 8, um, some born Legacy, pretty much generic stuff. Okay, so CEX done, British Heart Foundation done. Um, still a couple more expensive Blu-rays in the British Heart Foundation, five quid. Now, I know it's, you're giving it to charity, but if it's a quid in CEX and better quality, you're not really going to spend £5 in a charity shop if it's lesser quality. But those 4Ks that were in the window, £15. Uh, I did double check them, they are still sealed, so I suppose you can get away with prices like £15 if it's still sealed. Uh, it's classed as a brand new item. But I uh, didn't need to pick them up, so uh, let's go to our next stop. Let's go and hit a couple, of cha uh, couple more charity shops. Okay, so next stop is Cancer Research. Let's go and have a look, see if they've had anything in. Okay, so their media is buy one, get two free. So if you can find three items, that's good. We have Philomena, <laughs> this is a different one. <laughs> Jack and Jill, uh, The Missing, a lot of it is like generic stuff. The Never Ending Story with a slip cover. I don't think I've seen the DVD with a slip cover. Uh, and also this Pirates of the Caribbean uh, box set as well. Okay, so I picked up three things from the charity shop. It was buy one, get two free. So uh, I had a look around to see what they had for the free ones. Uh, happy with what I've got considering what they had on the shelf. So I'll show you those at the end of the video. But let's go to our next charity shop, which will be the Demelza, which is the one where you have to go down the stairs. Okay, so let's go into Demelza and let's go and have a look down the stairs, see if they've got anything. Again, uh, another lot of general stuff. Uh, Expendables 3, uh, what else have we got? We've got Basic, that was in here before, Tropic Thunder. 
And we do have one of the plastic ca uh, cases that I've been collecting, but someone sent me that one, plus the Olympics there as well, and some flags of uh, the fathers. Inglorious Bastards, I don't know why they've blocked the title out on this. I thought it was the Tarantino film. It's not, it appears to be some kind of documentary. So uh, maybe it was just general release, I don't know. Well, the American candy shop is still here. I don't suppose they're doing much business this time of year, but I don't think we need to pop in there to, to get anything today. Harry Potter shop is still here as well, which is really good. I do love these little figures down here of Hermione and Harry. Very detailed. Even though I do miss walking through those doors of the old store, I do like the new store, so we can still be upbeat about it. But anyway, let's go back to the car and let's go to our next stop. As <laughs> done. Okay, so we're out of uh, Canterbury and we're down here at Asda over there so uh, let's go in in a minute um, I'm just going to spend a little time doing a bit of editing and then we'll go in good sir that they probably won't have anything because it's only half past 11 and they don't usually get anything out on the shelves until gone two o'clock so let's go and have a look anyway well I spent a good hour or so doing some editing so hopefully by now they've uh, got the stuff on the shelf Let's go and have a look. What the fuck? They actually do have season three of Cobra Kai, but for 25 quid. 10 quid in CX. Uh, I also noticed this Megalodon Rising DVD for three pounds. I was tempted. It's going to be shit, but for three quid. But oh my God, look. The Christopher Nolan 4Ks and Fantastic Beasts. So we have Joker up here on 4K, we have Batman Begins with a slip, Dark Knight with a slip, Dark Knight Rises with a slip, uh, and then we have Fantastic Beasts. Oh God, how much of these, I wonder. Uh, we do have 1917, which I've already checked, and he's five pounds. Uh, on the Music Magpie section, there's nothing really interesting on the Blu-rays. It's the same ones that were in here pretty much the last time we came in, very generic titles. Man from Uncle Ted, Vantage Point. Uh, Jack Reacher there, and uh, the same with the DVDs. Uh, the only thing that kind of interested me was the Fantastic Beasts with this really nice gold uh, box. Okay, so yes, they were still putting stuff out, so I couldn't get to see what was going out. Uh, but they did have 1917 on 4K for £5. And did you see the Christopher Nolan Batman trilogy 4K with beautiful slipcovers? Have a guess how much they were each. They have a couple of uh, new Mandalorian pops in here, including Grogu with cookies. <laughs> Stuffy face, mate, yes. And uh, oh, there's the child at the back there. And we also have Fennec Shand as well. So that's pretty good, plus some uh, uh, Eternals and Cobb Vanth. It's the first time I've seen that one. That's pretty good. And we also have the Cara Dune one as well. Oh dear, right, okay. So, out of Asda. Now, yes, as I turned that corner, as I expected, shitloads of boxes, two people putting stuff on the shelf. I should have known. I should have known nothing would be on the shelves. I think if you're going to stand a chance of actually finding something new, you've got to go out at about three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> actually, I think they're closed at three o'clock in the morning. But, uh, those 4Ks that were on the shelf, as soon as I saw those on the top shelf all alone, oh my God, my eyes lit up like, oh my God. Because, you know, the recent 4Ks have been £5 each. And I did find 1917 in there, uh, <laughs> lost in time for five pounds, uh, 4k without a slip. There was a Harry Potter at the top, uh, and I said to the lady, Can you please tell me how much those Batman 4k 
move his arm at the top there and she says I don't work here <laughs> she was actually putting the movies on the shelf so she, she obviously works for the supply company so she said have a word with that lady she'll um, she'll scan it for you and I was thinking please be five pounds please be five pounds please be five pounds <laughs> I would have picked up the lot because there was about six in total so there was two of each so I took it over to her <sighs> I was thinking please please five pounds each with a slip five pounds each with a slip 18 quid each <laughs> you bastard you total utter green bastard <laughs> so i thought no i'm not spending 18 pound um i've already got the movies on 4k but if they had been five pound with a slip cover too bloody right i would have picked them up so yes so my excitement went down the toilet quicker than one of my turds Anyway, we are done here then at Asda, so let's go to our next stop, which will be the beautiful Westwood Cross. Yes, and uh, to our first stop down there, Smith's Toys. So let's go and have a look at the, uh, the pop vinyl figures and any new merchandise. Maybe they've got some Jurassic World Dominion uh, merchandise up on the shelf. Who knows? But uh, yeah, next stop, Smith's. Okay, so yes, we are down at our next stop, Westwood Cross, so let's go into our next shop. That's right, it's the Mighty Smith's Toys. Let's go and have a look, see what they've had in. I haven't been in here for a while. Even though we have got a couple of good toy stores around the UK, Smith's Toys and The Entertainer, I am really looking forward to uh, when Toys R Us opens this, the doors again. <laughs>
Okay, so some good stuff in there in Smiths. Some nice pop vinyl figures, some Star Wars ones, new ones, plus also the Batman, so that's pretty good. Plus also some Batman, uh, Batmobile and the Batbike, so that was very nice as well. Uh, they had a lot of Jurassic World stuff in there. Uh, most of it was Jurassic World, the film, and also Camp Cretaceous, so no Dominion stuff in yet. So hopefully that will come in in the next couple of weeks. But uh, let's go to our last stop of the day. I'm going to pop into Tesco's. I do have a three pound voucher to use so if there's anything on the shelf I might use it even if it's a cheap DVD that piques my interest but we'll go and have a look anyway. I don't know if they're going to have any new stuff in, probably not. That's if they've got anything in there they might have just cleared all the bloody shelves off and buggered off but we'll go and have a look anyway. I need to pick some bottles of water up as well uh, because we're having the new boiler installed on Wednesday and Dad was saying that they're probably going to turn the water off at the end of the day until the following day. So we're not going to have any water to make cups of tea and cups of coffee unless we put a load in a bloody saucepan and, and boil it up and or just put it in a saucepan. <laughs> I don't know. So I said to him, stop, stop pissing about. We don't need to piss about like that. I'll just go into Tesco's and buy a shitload of two litre bottles of tap water or whatever they've got. Cheap water. So, yeah, that'll do. Okay, let's go to Tesco's and uh, see if they've got any movies. Okay, so we're here at Tesco's. Let's go in and see if they've got anything. Jeez, oh, that is pitiful. Okay, what have they got? Uh, so they do have House of Gucci Blu-ray for £15. That was probably £12.50 last week, but that's gone up now. Got Capone there. Lots of House of Gucci DVDs. So it's called Crisis with Gary Oldman and Evangeline Lilly. Addiction is an industry. Well, at least with Diet Coke. Or Pepsi Max Cherry. Uh, that's it. And then what we've got over here? Lots of tenets for 10 quid. Mitchell's versus the Machines DVD and Spirit. And a load of shit Adele CDs. And a lot of blank spaces. Oh my god, I remember when that, 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 and all that was all Blu-rays and DVDs and the bleeding um, big sleeve editions. They still got some games, so they're doing well with the games, but they had absolutely crap loads of DVDs and Blu-rays. Oh well. Wow. We've got a telly over here, what's this? Toshiba 4K 50 inch. Is that £349? Yeah. Now that display of DVDs and Blu-rays was shocking. Even my branch at Dover don't look as bad as that, but that's bad. But they did have House of Gucci in, and I should imagine last week, um, as far as I'm aware, it was £12.50 on Blu-ray with a club card. Whether or not they had the little stand, I don't know. But there's definitely nothing out today that would warrant having a stand or, or going on the shelf. So we'll just have to see what the next uh, major release is going to be. You know what time it is? It's Cherry Bakewell food porn time. Oh yes, baby.
Okay, so we better go through what I picked up. Six, six titles. Okay, three of those picked up in HMV. Nothing in CEX, but I did pick up the other three in a charity shop. So the first one uh, I decided to pick up as it was there. And it's a film that I have never seen. So it'll be a first time watch and a first time review for me. Citizen Kane with Orson Carr. I mean, Orson Welles. <laughs> this is hailed by critics and fans alike as one of the greatest films ever made. So I'll have to uh, watch that and form my own opinion. Will it be good? Will it be crap? Who knows? But uh, I'm definitely going to give it a go. So yes, so the new 4K. We have a lovely spine. And we have all the information on the back there. Yes, it's black and white, but I don't mind black and white films. Some of the best movies in the world and TV shows in the world were black and white. Lauren Hardy and all that kind of stuff. Do we have any special features? Yes, we do. Uh, we have a separate commentaries by uh, Roger Ebert and Peter Bogdanovich. Uh, interviews with Ruth Warwick and Robert Wise. Opening the world premiere of Citizen Kane. And still photography with commentary by Roger Ebert and more. Uh, and of course it's 4K and the audio. What's the audio? Uh, it's DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. So hopefully that will be good. So there we are and it's 119 minutes. So let me just unbox it for you. There we go. Same artwork. That's probably the nicest use of a 4k black case it goes so well <laughs> so even if it would had come with a blue case i would have swapped that for a black case definitely okay so let's have a look uh we're gonna get two discs we are getting two discs unfortunately no artwork so we have a, a bright red disc for the 4k and we also have a black disc for the blu-ray so there we go so that is Citizen Kane, so I, I will be watching that this month. Well, probably next month actually, uh, because we're almost at the end of this month. So that's uh, Citizen Kane. Next one I picked up is a Shudder original. <laughs> yes, uh, full of claustrophobic dread, blood disgusting. Bloody disgusting, apparently. You've been warned. This is Cavi, I think it's pronounced Cavi. Uh, I don't normally pick up the Shudder exclusives. I know Rob does. He, I think he's got all of them. But I figured, check out the trailer. Look at the trailer. I really thought the trailer was good. So I think I might have a bit of fun with this one. So let's uh, under it, take the old wrapping off. And I was surprised how many of the titles that were coming out this week that the HMV at Canterbury had, you know, because of their shrinkage of their blu-rays and their 4ks but they're going to hopefully stock all the latest uh, 4ks and blu-rays this is certified fresh by rotten tomatoes that's very nice uh what have we got have we got any special features on here yes we have a director's commentary producer's commentary and storyboards uh dts hd master audio 5.1 and the film is 88 minutes so it's not very long so there we go so yeah that looks pretty good I'm just going to have one disc, but one disc does have some artwork on it. Fantastic. So I will uh, definitely check this one out. This is going to be a late night checkout. Yes. I, I don't know why. Is it just me or does a lot of people do a lot of people watch horror films late at night? I don't really watch tend to watch horror films during the daytime. I don't know why. <laughs> so that's Cavite. Uh, the next one uh, is uh, based on an incredible true story starring Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, this is Survival is Key. This is Escape from Pretoria. Now, as I said, I watched this. Uh, it was either on Sky or Amazon Prime. I can't quite remember where I watched it. Um, it's basically, he's an activist. I still remember the story for this because it's such a good film, I thought. He's uh, part of an activist group. And uh, he gets falsely imprisoned and he carves a key to get out of the prison. So it's, it's, it's a prison break movie and I do like prison break movies. So both me and my 
and my dad, Papa Bowman, we both enjoyed it. Uh, I never thought they'd release it on physical, so uh, good on them for finally releasing something that was only available on streaming onto physical. And uh, Daniel Radcliffe does a really good voice on that. Well, hang on a minute. <laughs> yes, whatever. Yes, he does a really good voice on that. I think he's supposed to be um, is it South African. I think he puts on a South African accent. Yeah. Uh, but this is a good film. It's got cast interviews, a director interview, and meet Tim Jenkin. Can't remember if Tim Jenkin was actually his character. Yes, it is. So it's a real-life ANC activist who was branded a terrorist and imprisoned in Africa's maximum security Pretoria prison in the late 1970s. So it's a good film. It's a good film. 106 minutes, uh, DTS HD Master Audio 5.1. And uh, as I say, it's got those extras. Uh, we do also have artwork on the disc, Escape from Pretoria. So that's very good. Might put that in a black case. I think that might look good in a black case. So they were the three main ones from HMV, which I was surprised that they actually had all of those. So I'm very happy with that. So that's Citizen Kane, Kavit, and Escape uh, from Pretoria. Now, in one of the charity shops, I found one of these dual DVD cases that I've been looking for. Well, not that I've been looking for, but I keep my eye open for them. This one is for you too. Yeah, it's for you as well as me. This is the best of 1990 to 2000. I do like you too. Uh, when you're living on the edge. The edge. The edge. <laughs> Holy shit. Yes, uh, this was £3. You might think that's so expensive for a charity shop. But, it, as you saw on the sign there, it was buy one, get two free. So, literally a quid each. That might still be expensive for some charity shops. Because I know some are like five movies for a quid. But um, I think they were trying to get rid of a lot of things because I overheard the staff saying, oh, we're going to be redesigning the inside and that. So maybe they were get, trying to get rid of some of the um, some of the media. But anyway, it's got a, a good uh, track listing on the back there. So uh, I look forward to hopefully putting that on at some point. Two hours and 56 minutes, so that's pretty good. Uh, it does have a, a crap load of special features on the back there as well. Um, and then we get a nice interior. And I checked the disc. Yeah, mint. Pretty much mint. Uh, and I don't know what we get. Do we get a flimsy leaflet or do we actually get... Oh, we get a book. So there we go. So we get a nice book. Lots of pictures of the, gr of the group. Very good. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah, like a discography as well. So that's pretty good. So I'm happy with that. So that's another one of my uh, plastic cases, my plastic jewel cases that I'm collecting. So I've got a bit of this. Um, I've got a bit of Kylie. <laughs> and so and so forth. Yeah, so um, I will be doing a complete DVD jewel case collection. I don't know if anybody will bloody bother watching it. But anyway, eventually. Right, so that was the £3 one. Um, and then I could have two other DVDs for free. Unfortunately, there wasn't any Blu-rays. No Blu-rays at all. So I went with the DVD. Well, I had to go with the DVDs because there's no Blu-rays. Uh, this one I've never heard of. Uh, it looks quite good. It's called Creep Van. Scary as hell. Let the bad times roll. So yeah, this looks like it might be kind of interesting. Uh, kind of like the Hitcher, maybe. Life without a car can be murder. Nobody is going to learn that lesson faster than Campbell Jackson, a 20-something out-of-work and out-of-options misfit in Detroit. After a disastrous move to Los Angeles, Campbell is quickly learning that the only thing worse than life with no vehicle is trying to buy one from a creepy madman. The van now has a new owner, and as the creep van's death toll rises, things for Campbell take a turn for the worse when the creep begins calling and threatening him. Okay, <laughs> it could be a bit of fun. So if you've seen the creep van, let me know if it's any good. One disc, and uh, I check the disc. Uh, yeah, mint, minty fresh. So that's pretty good. Uh, and I was trying to find the last one. I wasn't sure what to get on the last one. Then I saw this. It's a terrifying and torturous horror movie, as good as it gets. Dying is easy. Staying alive is torture. 
warning, explicit content. Uh, and this says, in the tradition of Saw. And you know, I didn't really like Saw. Maybe I'll like this. It'd be funny if I thought this is a masterpiece, but I didn't think Saw was very good. This is called Gag. Yeah. She looks totally terrified. Gag. Uh, you, it does look sawish, doesn't it? Sawish. <laughs> it does come with a nice slip cover as well. Yeah, it says, in the tradition of Saw, two professional thieves break into a house in search of a safe. Instead, they discover a man beaten beyond recognition, tied in a hidden room. They decide to help, only to become trapped by a serial killer whose torture methods will have them begging for death. It's Saw, isn't it? It's, it's a cheap knockoff of Saw. It sounds like it. But um, 84 minutes long, uh, 2006. It's full frame, so it's not widescreen, but I was limited options, unfortunately, but it might be worth checking out. <laughs> One disc, same artwork on the disc. Yeah, minty fresh. I know it's four by three. I mean, hey, I've sat through four hours of Zack Snyder's Justice League, so I think I can sit through a four by three horror film. Yeah, there we go. So that is today's pickups then. So we have Gag. We have, what is it called? Creep Van. <laughs> Bloody titles. U2 in the jewel case. And we have Escape from Pretoria. Cavite. Or Caveat, however you pronounce it. And the 4K for Citizen Kane. So very happy with this week's pickups. Uh, there would have only really been three if I hadn't have found anything in the charity shop, but I'm happy with those for three quid. Uh, now, I didn't buy any Blu-rays with my £3 voucher that I had for Tesco's. There was nothing to buy, really, in Tesco's. But I did pick up a six-pack of... Two, four, six, eight, ten... Twelve litres of water. Uh, that was priced at three quid fifty. Uh, with a club card, it knocked it down to three quid, and I had a three pound voucher, so I've literally picked up twelve litres of water for free. <laughs> yeah, but you can get it free off the tap. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's it's just some water that we've got in for an emergency in case you know we we don't have water. Uh, I don't really want to shower with it because it might be a bit nippy. Um, but uh, at least we'll have it for drinking water and for you know boiling a cup of tea and and um, making a cup of coffee. Anyway, that is today's Blu-ray hunt. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, it was a good one today. We did everything, everywhere that I wanted to go, um, even though it wasn't a, a huge release week. So hopefully we'll have some more re good releases coming up in the next couple of weeks. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Stick down in the comments there what you picked up, what you had delivered. Don't forget to like the video by giving it some thumbs up. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe of course and uh, i shall see you all on the next lovely video bye bye for now